In the previous video, we built this nice Happy Meal layout with an image at the top, a title, some details, so the calories, and then a price. And we drew it out first, so this is what it what we wanted it to look like, and this is what it ended up looking like, so pretty damn close. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about a different type of layout composable. And that different type of layout composable is gonna be a row. Like I said, in Compose, it's, it's pretty much all about rows and columns, columns and rows, scrollable rows, scrollable columns, all about rows and columns. So in this one, I'm gonna talk about the other one, which is rows, and also break down uh, something really important, I think it's to understand, is how to align items within rows and within columns. And I'm gonna show you an example to uh, paint a picture in your mind, because I think it's difficult to picture without an example. So let's first take a look at an example. So here I am in Android Studio, continuing from the previous video. I have that same kind of code in here for our Happy Meal kind of layout. I'm actually going to comment out everything here. So I'm commenting this out because we're gonna come back to this later and add on to this using rows. Because I first wanna give you an example of uh, what I meant by aligning things within columns and within rows. So I'm gonna call uh, set content here to create a brand new composable that's gonna be inflated inside of our activity. And what I'm gonna do is show you a column. So I'm gonna create a column, give it a modifier and say modifier dot, uh, let's say width, equals, uh, we'll do fill max width. So modifier dot fill max width, but then for the height, so I'm gonna put this on the next line just so it looks a little bit cleaner and do fill max width and then do uh, for the height, I'm gonna give it a specific height. So let's say like 200 DP. So that's like a pretty big height. I wanna make it pretty obvious. I wanna make it very obvious what I'm trying to show you here. So now if I put an item inside of this column, uh, I'll just say item number one, what, what does this look like? Where does item number one go? Also, I'm gonna put a background on this column so you can very clearly see what, uh, or I'll put a border on it so you can clearly see where the, where the column starts and where the column ends. So I'll do border, do border equals a border stroke. The first parameter here is the width. I'll just do one dot DP. And then the second parameter is the color. And I'll just do color dot black. So just a one DP black border added to this column. So now if I run this, let's take a look and see what this looks like. So here's our column. You can see that the top item is aligned in the very top left. So this is what I was talking about by how we can align things within the column or within the row. Because obviously whenever you create a, this, this is emphasized because it's so big, but you know, if I didn't add a 200 DP height to this, it wouldn't be obvious because it, it would look like it's centered, but it's actually not. So if you look here, it's up in the top right. So by default, it gets aligned at the start and at the top. So really, like with any column, what you really want is you want it to be in the dead center, more than likely. And if there's only one item, you want it to be dead center. So how do you align children within a column? So let's go back to Android Studio here. Well, what you, what you can do is go inside of the, the child itself, add a modifier to it. So modifier and do modifier dot align and I can do alignment, alignment dot and I can say center horizontally. Now that works fine, I get no errors, but watch what happens if I do center vertically. If I do that, it gives me a warning. So it says, uh, basically it says that no, I can't do that, required uh, alignment horizontal found alignment vertical. So basically what I'm trying to show you here is inside of a column, you can only, the children can only align horizontally. So center horizontally, that's fine. Uh, but if I try to align vertically, it doesn't work. So columns, the children must be aligned horizontally. So it's opposite. The column is vertical, that's how you think of it. It's the, you know, the Y direction, but it's children can only be aligned horizontally. Just like with the row, like if I copied this and did the same thing, but change this to a row, um, let's say instead of, uh, instead of a fill max width, I'll do a width of 200 DP, and then I'll do fill, uh, fill I can do uh, height of 200 DP, it doesn't matter. And then boom, there you can there you can see that, uh, well, let's call this item two. You can see that now this is giving a warning. It says, we can't do that. We can only center vertically. So columns, their children can only, can only change the horizontal orientation. Rows, the children can only change the vertical orientation. This is something very important to understand. So let me, uh, let me run this and take a look. And we'll actually add a spacer here, just so you can kind of clearly see the difference. So modifier, 
dot, uh, let's do padding and just do, I don't know, 20 DP just to clearly space them out between each other. So let's run that and take a look and see what that looks like. Oh, that looks funny. So I, what I did is I forgot to add kind of a parent. So inside of here right now, we just have a column and a spacer in a row. So they're, they're basically being put on top of each other. So what we need is to add a top level parent column so that the column and the row are oriented vertically to one another. So let's add a top level column and let's rerun that and take a look. So now we're gonna have that column up at the top with the item, notice it's now it's now horizontally centered because we told it to center itself horizontally. And the row here is, um, is vertically centered. So you can see it's right in the center vertically. So the children can only orient themselves, again, just to remind you, they can only align themselves opposite of whatever the parent is. So the column can align horizontally, the row can align vertically. So now your question is, well, that's okay, Mitch, but how can I get it in the center? I, I want it to be in the center. Having it aligned horizontally or vertically is okay, but how do I get it into the center? So let's go back to Android Studio. So the way this works is this, I know this is kind of weird. I really wish they would have made this like simpler, uh, but it, you know, once you understand it, it's not a big deal. So let's look at the column example first. So you already know now that when you have a column, any children can only change their alignment uh, with respect to the X direction. So it can center itself horizontally, you know, it could, it could align itself to the end, it could align itself to the start. Basically anything in the X direction is what its alignment can, can change. So how do I align it vertically, basically. What That's the question. Well, you have to actually go into the parent to do that. So you wanna go up to the parent, add a comma on the modifier, and it has a property called arrangement, or a, a property called vertical arrangement. And then you can do arrangement dot, you know, top, space between, bottom, center, space around. These are all properties that get get applied to every single child within it. So like if there was more than one child, you'd have the space between them. So the space would be distributed even between all the children. Uh, if bottom, then all the space would be at the, or the, the children would be stacked at the bottom. Center, they go to the center. Space around means there's no space in the middle, but the space is actually on either side of them. So there's different options here. So if basically, if we wanna center this, I can just do center. Since we only have one child, it's very simple. I just center it. So let's, uh, let's run that and take a look. So boom, there you go. Up at the top, you can see item one is very clearly centered vertically now. So we didn't only change the horizontal orientation, we now have centered it successfully uh, vertically. So what if uh, what if we had two children? Like, let me copy this and paste it down below and do item number two. What if we have two children? What does that look like? We're now inside of a column. So let, let's run that and just take a look. So now both the children are kind of just stacked in the center. So remember earlier I talked about this vertical arrangement thing and how there's different options. So now let me try like one of these other options. Let's do like, uh, you know, space space between. Let's see what that looks like. Let's run that and see. So now all of the extra space is distributed in the middle. So space between means the space is gonna be between the items. Now I'm not gonna go through each one of these options, but if you wanna learn about them, I encourage you just to, you know, try these out. Uh, see which what does what and just you know try everything out basically so I'm gonna change that back to center and now let's go to the the row and see how we can center this row so we want to go inside of the parent which is the row itself and now this is gonna have a horizontal arrangement property so arrangement and now I can do the same thing I can click center and then now this is gonna this is going to center it in the horizontal direction because it's a row and then we can um, center it uh, vertically on the child itself. So if I run that, now the item is gonna be right dead center. So there we go, we have item number two centered in our row. So I just wanna spend a few minutes and like talk about those things. I think they're really important. You know, if you have a column, uh, to, in order to change the, the children, how they're oriented in that column vertically, you have to apply that vertical arrangement to the parent. If you wanna change the children, how they're oriented horizontally inside of a column, you have to apply that to the child. And, to, and then the opposite with the row, if you want to orient it horizontally, you apply a horizontal arrangement to the to the parent. And if you want to change the orientation of the children uh, vertically, you add an, uh, an alignment to the child. All of that terminology probably sounded very confusing. If you're still confused, I would just say watch what I just did over the last you know five to ten minutes again, and I'm sure it will click in your brain because it's there's a very clear pattern. 
uh, of like parent and child and how they can orient each other. So watch that again and I'm sure you will get it. So now that we have this kind of introductory knowledge of rows and columns and how to center them and move them around, now let's let's add to our Happy Meal layout. So let's change it a little bit so that we, we have to use a row. So just like we did with our previous one, let's start with a drawing. So I'm gonna write row at the very top just to highlight that we're gonna be focusing on trying to use a row in this one. So again, we're gonna have a nice hamburger meal up at the top here. Gonna have some lettuce on there, a bun on the bottom. Man, that's a terrible drawing. And then again, we have our French fries over here and there's our plate. Wow, what a great drawing that is. So we have our title, Happy Meal. That's not gonna change, that's kind of the same. But now what I wanna do is I wanna put the price over here and I wanna make this text kind of smaller and make sure it's oriented towards the end. Uh, then I'm gonna have 800 calories down here. So again, those details. And then as a last kind of feature, we're gonna put a button at the very bottom. This button is gonna be centered inside of a row and it's gonna say order uh, now. It's gonna be a button dead center, uh, kind of below everything. So the, the main kind of features we want to focus on here is this is gonna be a row, and how do we orient this price item to the end of that row? And then this one is gonna be at the start of the row. So the title goes to the start, and then the price goes to the end of the row. Then we just have our calories, which we had before, and then we have this, this other row right here, which has its item centered. So this has a, a centered, uh, button in the middle of that row. All right, so coming back to Android Studio, I'm going to delete this whole kind of set content example that I used with the arrangement. You can delete it if you want, or you can keep it, or you know, save it to a gist or something if you want to just you know save that example. And I'm going to uncomment all of that kind of uh, bait, that Happy Meal layout that we had before. So now what we want to do is we want to add to this and now just change the layout a little bit. So we have our image that's kind of at the top. Then we have our column and we have, you know, the title text. We have the calories and then we have that price of $5.99. So what I want to do is I want to take this price of $5.99. I'm going to cut it. So I'm pressing control X and up inside of our column here, I want to add a row. So creating a row and I'm gonna paste in our 599 text and I'm also going to cut out the Happy Meal kind of title and I'm also gonna put that inside of the row. And I can, uh, can I delete? No, I'm gonna leave that spacer there and everything else will stay the same. So now what we have here is we have our column but now inside of the column there's this row that wasn't there before and now the Happy Meal text and the 599 are gonna be oriented with respect to one another horizontally. So let's just run this and just take a look and see what it looks like as of right now. So there we go, we have our Happy Meal view. Now there's a couple problems with this so there's one main problem with that. Uh, well, it's a couple of problems. Number one is this 599 text is right beside the title. We don't want that. Remember we want it towards the end. Also, there's another problem. It's not centered vertically. You can see that it's kind of, it's at the very top of the Happy Meal, of the Happy Meal title. So we want to do two things. We want to center this 599 vertically, and we want to orient it towards the end over here. So how can we do that? Well, remember in our row property, if we want to change, if in a row, if we want to change the horizontal arrangement of any of the children, that has to be done in the row, in the parent itself. So I want to add a, uh, whoops, I want, yeah, I want to add a modifier to this first of all to make sure that it occupies the maximum width. So I can say uh, fill max width. And then I'm going to add another property called the horizontal arrangement. Remember, we looked at that earlier. Arrangement dot space between is the one that I want to use. That's going to force all of the extra space within that row to be in between the, the children inside of that row. And I have two children, so that's going to force this one to be at the start and this one to be at the end. So now the second problem here is how do we center this 599 text vertically? Because remember here, it's kind of at the top, which is not what we want. We want that centered. Well, we can add a modifier to the text itself. Remember, if you want to change the orientation of a child that is within a row, if we, we want to change the vertical arrangement of a child within a row, uh, we can do that. We can just do that by applying a modifier. So modifier equals modifier dot align and then do alignment dot center vertically. And that'll be it. So let's run that and take a look. And boom, there we go. We have our nice Happy Meal row now where the Happy Meal title is on the start. And then we have the 599 hugging on the end and it also is centered vertically. 
So now what about that button? How do we get that button down and kind of centered in its own row? So let's come back to Android Studio, go down to, down to the very, very bottom of our composable, and let's add a, well, simply you can just put a button. Uh, we don't need to actually add a row or anything. I'm gonna do an empty function. Uh, oh, by the way, if you don't know kind of what that's all about, if you look at the button definition, so if you press control click on that, the on click attribute is a function. That's what this means right here. It's a function that returns nothing and it's a required function. So I've, I just passed it an empty function basically. So when you click it, it's going to do nothing. Now the second attribute is gonna be the modifier. So modifier dot, uh, now think about this. How do we, what are we trying to do here? Before I even, before I give away the answer to you, how do we center this button in the middle of our view? What's, what's the parent? Let's go up to the very top, what's the parent? Well, the parent's a column. So this button is sitting inside of a column. So how do I center a button horizontally that's inside of a column? Well, that's easy because the button is, the, the column can have its children uh, aligned horizontally by just mo modifying the alignment on the modifier. So I can do align and do alignment, whoops, alignment, and just do center horizontally, and I'm done. Now inside the button, I'll just add some text, say text equals, uh, you know, order now, order now, and that's it, I'm done. So. Let's run that and take a look and see what we're dealing with. There we go. We have our nice happy meal kind of composable. We have our title, a price on the right, some details, and then our order now button, which of course does nothing. So that's going to be it for the introduction to kind of compose or, well, it's not going to be it for the course. This is just it for like the baby stuff where I'm showing you uh, columns, uh, rows, how to align stuff relative to whether it's in a column, whether it's in a row, all that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna actually start the course. So I'm going to start building the MVVM recipe application for the course. And if you wanna see a demo of what this is gonna look like to see you know, what you're getting yourself into, I'll put a link up here. You can take a look. I've done a couple of videos on you know, what this course is gonna be all about. So go ahead and check that out. Of course, it's gonna be a free course. This was just kind of the introduction to the course to get you a little bit familiar with Jetpack Compose before we start building anything. Um, yeah, so I think I'll end the video here. Originally, I was gonna do a little demo, but just go up there, click that link that I talked about, and uh, that'll show you what we're, what we're gonna be building in the next videos. Thanks for watching. As always, if you found this helpful, if you wanna see more videos like this, leave me some kind of engagement. Go down there and say, Mitch, I want more, or Mitch, here's your engagement, or leave a like, give me something. Give me something and follow me on Twitter at Mitch underscore Tabian. I'm active on Twitter. I always talk about uh, kind of what's going on in the Android world. So follow me there if you want updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.